the second color let's talk about is yellows. I love doing yellows right after reds because yellows in many ways are very opposite of reds. So now think about this for me. So if reds are loud, like I have a loud speaking voice, so I talk loud. So some people, yellows, don't like people who talk loud. Yellows talk much softer. So, you know, if I were to put a speaker on stage who was going to speak in this tone of voice for the next 20 or 30 minutes, anyone in the audience who's a yellow would really like that speaker, regardless of what they were saying, because the tone of their voice is so much more bearable. And then when I get up here and start doing this, people are like, oh my God, do you have to scream? It just, it, and, and you may not even be having that conscious thought. But it's uh, yellows don't like loud noises. They don't like loud people. So yellows are caring, loving, relationship-driven. Let me go back to what I just said about reds. Reds are like, oh, it's your birthday. I'm sorry, I'm working. Yellows are like, oh, my God, it's your birthday. Let me get you flowers. Let me make a post. Let me do this. Let me do Like yellows are relationship-driven. So if you're dating a yellow, they're going to make a big deal out of your birthday. If a red, eh, whatever. Yellows are, are relationship-driven. Yellows don't want to argue about anything. They don't want to confront anything. So for yellows, they will a lot of times let people, I wouldn't say necessarily be abusive to them, but they'll put up with a lot of garbage because they just prefer not to confront the issue. And they'll go a long, long time avoiding and confronting the issue. So again, yellows have great strengths. They're, they have friends. They have genuine friendships. They're family-oriented. They, they love animals. They love the great outdoors. They love the great outdoors more like going on a hike. Another group would rather go to the beach and you know do all that stuff. But the yellows like to connect with nature more than anybody else. Yellow, if you meet someone and within a couple minutes they're showing you a photo of their animal, they're a yellow. Okay, yellows love animals. Yellows, for real, would spend anything on their animal. Anything, like anything on, they love other people. They care about other people. Now, all that sounds great. Here's the downside. Yellows are very gullible. They believe people's BS very easily. Yellows buy people's excuses. Yellows don't want to confront something. So when someone says, well, I'd like to do this, but I don't have the money. I want to do this, but I don't have the time. Yellows don't want anyone else to be in pain. So they want everyone to get along. That's the other thing. So like they want to be in good relationship with everyone. So like for a red, if you and I are having a conflict, I don't give a shit if I talk to you for seven years. A yellow needs to immediately fix it. Like, it's got to be fixed. And then once I fix my relationship with you, now, if you and my other friend are not talking, I have to fix that too. Like, yellows want everyone to get along. And it's cool. It's a strength, but it's also, it can be a, a diversion.